and welcome to the 2022 Nordstrom Anniversary Sale try-on. And I'm not going to say dressing room try-on, I'm going to say try-on because some of this is going to be filmed here at my Nordstrom. I'm at Nordstrom La Pantera in this really nice fitting room. But I had a lot of pieces already from the sale at home, so to save myself a little time, I did a bit of a try-on back home. So there'll be footage spliced in between me here at the store and then at home. So if you're new to this, don't forget, everything will be listed down in the description box in the exact order in which you're seeing it here. Links, sizing for me, and this year I'm going, it should be at the top of the description box, my height, my weight, which is horrifying to share, and my measurements. But I thought we would start with this outfit. This is what I came in, and all of this is available in the sale this year. This is the Madewell, I don't remember what these things are called, just know that I'll have it all listed in order so that we don't lose track of what all these things are. This is from Madewell. This is what I consider a fall t-shirt because it is a fall color. I like that the sleeves are a little bit longer, hides a little bit of the upper arms, comes in some really pretty muted colors. I think I ordered another one of these, I did. I ordered one in black and they come in, I think, two other colors as well. And then these I bought in the sale last year. Very comfortable. They're AG jeans, the ex-boyfriend slim. I'm wearing them in a 28 regular. They're very soft. They stretch a little bit. Um, they're not as stretchy as the frame jeans that I also love. And then these are in the sale again, I think under a different name, same brand, Vince Camuto. These are my most worn booty and I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. I thought I would start with tops and then work myself category through category. So not necessarily actual outfit pairings. So this first piece is from Caslon. It is a split neck, which I love. I like a V-neck, but what I also love is it doesn't have those dangly string things. I love the colors on this. It's very flowy top. It has elasticized cuffs. I would not wear it untucked. It does come in other colors. Runs, I'd say, true to size, so this is a size small. I love the little tiny puff on the sleeve, little so shoulder detail, little ruffles here. Love it. This one is cute because you can wear it now. You can certainly layer it in the fall or cooler temperatures. Obviously comes in other colors. This is from One State. I love the chiffon sleeves. So for those of us who are a little self-conscious about the upper arms, they're covered but they're not solidly covered, so you have some nice, it's not too warm. The actual body of the tee is, it's ribbed. I don't know if you can see that here. A really nice lightweight material. It's clingy, but it's not super body con. Wearing it in a size small, I love the scoop neck. Again, I think it's very slimming, elongating. That's not slimming. You can just squish it. You don't even have to do a full front tuck. I really like it. This one is not something I would have picked for myself and I'm not going to get this for me, but a lot of you I know have issues with more narrow shoulders. It's not a problem that I have, but if you do, then you do want this puffed sleeve. It's sort of reminiscent of the shoulder pads from back in the 80s. And this is super soft cotton. It's a um, sort of a blouse material, but it's cotton, it's soft. I have a feeling it will get softer in each wash. I like that it's a colored blouse without the buttons. So it just lays nicely. And it's a, it's kind of a cropped, like, well, it's like a true top of the hip bone length. Like there you can see, but I think it does look best tucked in a little bit. And I could also see this paired with black jeans, black pants, gray jeans. It's like 40, $46 on sale. If you've been watching me for a little bit, you know I love the Rails button-down shirts. They're super soft, they're super flowy, they're super expensive. Here is an alternative very, very similar. I wouldn't necessarily say dupe, but very close, and it's under $40. This is from Treasure and Bond. It is their boyfriend button-down plaid. It comes in this and another one. It is oversized. I'm wearing mine in a small, just so you can see it untucked. Very loose, very flowy. I love this plaid. It just feels like fall without being too warm. All right, I'm here to show you the good and the not so good. So I'm torn on this. I love the concept. I love the oversized look. This is actually an extra small. 
it is huge on me. And now let me put the top where it is meant to be. Don't judge me. There's some boobage happening. I mean, okay, it does come in other colors. I like this. Let me get a fuller length. Okay, I like this because look how long it is in the back. It's so great to wear over skinny jeans or leggings. And I like the length in the front. It covers all the parts that should be covered. It is a little sheer, like you can see where my, it's not the end of the world. It is pretty low. I mean, if you're, if you don't have as much happening here, it's going to dip even lower. So you would need to layer something under it. And I'm just not a fan of layering. It'll, it has nice little details, like the little elbow patches. I just don't think this is doing anything for me personally, but I need to share this because this is not always all about me. One of you may love this. So here you go. Whatever you do, if you do like this, size it down maybe twice. This is an extra small. Okay, this is from Madewell and this is absolutely coming home with me today. I can wear it now and I can layer it under all the things because this is the last top I'm trying on. And then it's all blazers, cardigans, jackets. So you're gonna see this a lot because I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the try-on so I don't have heat stroke in a Nordstrom fitting room. It's a gauze material. It's slightly sheer, but not crazy. I love the little cuffs that are built in on the sleeves. Let's do a little tucky tuck. Perfect. The perfect tee. Like, I ah, love it. I'm just wearing a nude uh, Soma bra underneath it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wearing it in a size small. Let's talk blazers. This is interesting. It's growing on me. Glad Sophie picked this. I would have walked right past it. This is a faux leather blazer. It also comes in a beautiful sort of tan rust color. Functional pockets. It's a reasonable price. Here it is, full length, at, I believe it's $65 on sale. It's not overly heavy. I'm wearing it in a small. You could definitely layer it over some things. There's enough room in the arms. Oh, this is functional too. This is super cute. I like it. It's very different. Let me know what you think. This blazer. Oh, this is from Topshop. It's well under $100. It is an incredibly budget-friendly buy. It does have matching over like kind of oversized pants it's a knit fabric uh, i would, would definitely roll up the sleeves to wear it functional pockets that i haven't opened you know they're like slightly shown sewn shut but great coverage great drape i think these look it looks this outfit i love this outfit like i would wear it just like this it runs super oversized i'm wearing it in a u.s size two it's meant to be oversized but like definitely size down at least one full size maybe two last blazer this one's pretty big too i'm wearing it in a small and i'm on the fence if i should go find one in an extra small so i would say size down on this one for sure this is a crinkled linen blazer and it's a really great piece especially if you live in a hot climate like i think a lot of us watching do because it's a great layering piece if you're going inside where it's heavily air conditioned it's super soft so when you hear linen i know you're thinking kind of stiff crinkly fabric no this feels more like gauze and it's a beautiful color i love this mossy green it does run really big though i like the deep pockets it's almost like a combination between a blazer and a cardigan and I like that you can wear this easily into fall because of this color. And if you live where it stays warm longer into the fall, you can just keep wearing this blazer. But yeah, it's pretty oversized, pretty boxy. So definitely size down one in this one. This little number I actually ordered last night in the oatmeal version. I would describe this as a coat again. It has all of the similar features, the notch lapel, the button cuff thing. I don't know what you call that. There's a name for that. It's like an epaulette, but it's on your wrist. It's a long length, but then it also feels like a sweater. I mean, it's, it's sweater material, super soft. I mean, if you just want to lounge around in the house in something, this, this is amazing. I love it. I, like I said, I ordered it last night when the sale went live for me, which would be Wednesday night for those of you that are watching. And I ordered it in the oatmeal-ish color, but I might get this too it's just such a versatile piece it's perfect super soft here's the full length so i would say it's below the knee is where it hits on me i think you can see it better that way Ta -da! okay i will admit i saw this on the website and i thought cropped nope pass oh is this a sale 
if you don't buy something like the Wubby Fleece from, I think this is Thread and Supply. No, you have to have it. This is cropped, but when I think of cropped, I think like, I don't know, showing your belly. If you're a shorter, more petite girl, or you're overwhelmed by the big drapey fabrics, this is so wonderful. I mean, yes, you're meant to leave the house in it, but I would just keep this in my family room and wear it to Netflix and chill in the evenings. Functional buttons here, it does button. I, I don't know that I would. You could, you could wear it just like all buttoned up. Oh my gosh, there are no pockets. It's not like a true shacket. Or is it a shacket because there are no pockets? I don't know, but oh my gosh. I love this. Mm. I will have to say, yes, I'm almost a 50 year old woman and I love it, but if you are looking for holiday gifts for the teenage girl set, put this on your list. They will absolutely love it. Okay, I do this. I feel like this is like deja vu. I've done this exact try on before with the exact same dilemma. This is the Zella Active Wear, some kind of fancy name coat. I don't know. I did this to myself last year. I tried it on in the small, decided it looked ridiculous on me and didn't buy it. And then spent the rest of the season watching all of my other influencer friends parade around in this thing. And it looked so cute on them. And then I hated myself for not buying it. This is in the small. I still think it looks weird on me in the small. But the good news is I did order it in an extra small and it is on its way to my house at some point. The shipping, I'm gonna just tell you now, is a little, I ordered everything for overnight, but it's definitely, it shows it's coming out in stages. So some stuff's coming the day you see this actually, hopefully, and and then it's sort of staggered up throughout July. But anyway, back to this, it's super comfortable. Arms are snug in the small. Let's go find the extra small and put this to rest. What a difference uh, correct sizing makes. Now it's cute. Now it's not overly bulky. Now I'm glad I ordered it. <laughs> so this is what's actually coming home to me soon. It does button, like if you do wanna close it up. But that's actually really cute. Okay. Yes, the sleeves are fitted, but they also give. There's not a huge difference between the small and the extra small. And I don't have tiny skinny arms. So I would say definitely size down a full size. It's like a completely different jacket when you do that. If you grew up or came of age in the 90s, you're going to love this. Now, this actually comes in a more, I'd say, sophisticated color, a solid camel. So if you're a big fan of a camel coat, which I am, then I recommend getting the solid camel, but my store doesn't have it in camel. So this is, oh my gosh, it's a polar fleece material, so super soft. It has true shacket styling, so you can, it has the pockets, which I think are key. And I love this, and I need this, I need this. This is the perfect fall option for those of us in more warmer climes. And it it's drapey enough that you could throw an actual coat over this if you live somewhere colder and you need a coat to wear over this. And again, another thing that if you are at home and you're lounging around, you're gonna wanna reach for this. This is incredible. Ooh, I love this one. I don't know if I'm cool enough to wear this. This is the one of the neatest things I've tried on. It's essentially a wool, I don't know if it's really wool, but it's super soft, feels like kind of a wool fabric, like my favorite coat that I got, I think last year, but it's sleeveless. I mean, it is coat material. It's lined like a coat. And then it's belted, so I'm wearing it sort of tied like a trench over a cashmere long sleeve sweater or something a little more loose and drapey and then you put this on top. Like it's really cool wearing it in a size small. I don't think it's as cool worn like this. I mean, it could be, I guess it depends how you wear it. Not with this outfit. It's neat. I really, really like it open. And at the sale price, I would say go for it. At full price, I would probably opt to skip it because it is a limited, and what you can wear. Really well made. It's a Nordstrom brand. Even has the vent in the back. It's sewn shut at the bottom, but very impressed with the quality. Now this is one I am glad I tried on in the store because based on how I saw it online, I wasn't sure. But let me tell you, you need this. First of all, the price is amazing. Second of all, if this bubblegum pink is not your thing, which I understand, comes in a beautiful, more rich camel color as well. The reason I passed on this when I saw it online is because I thought it, this was more of a true boat neck and I was gonna need a strapless bra, but it is not. It is just wide enough or narrow enough that you can still have your bra strap covered. I love the ribbing. 
I love the texture, the length. Personally, loving the bubblegum pink because all my sweaters tend to be like black, camel, navy, muted. And we all know that when it gets really cold and dreary, sometimes it's nice to have some color. So also the price. I'm wearing this in a size small and I think this is, hmm, check the description box, but it's like in the 30s, I believe. So a really great deal and not an overly heavy sweater. It's not bulky. It's just nice, see how it drapes and moves. Fun! Adding this to my pile. Okay, this dress I absolutely love. I didn't zip it up all the way up to the top because I'm in here by myself and I didn't feel like chasing anyone down. But oh my God, fits true to size. This is a four. It has a little button here for the boobage that I didn't even bother with. But this is a faux wrap. It's tied, it's sewn shut here. It's not gonna, there's nothing to open. So it's a faux wrap dress, it zips all the way up the back, elastic cuffs, gorgeous, gorgeous print, love like everything about it. It's, this is beautiful. What a gorgeous, fun, little flirty ruffle in the back. Beautiful for like now or into fall. I'm glad I recommended this on my website because it's really good. Another Julia Jordan dress, also size four. This one's a little more fitted, so I'd say this one works. It's really cute. It zips up the back. I don't know if you can see it because I didn't zip it all the way up. Take my word for it, it ties at the top with a bow, super cute. Fitted through the natural waist, has like a slightly mock neck. I don't know what it got on me. Okay, anyway, no pockets. Has a little slit. This print reminds me very much of a Farm Rio type print without the Farm Rio cost. It's a little more budget friendly. Fun colors, you could definitely wear this now. Easily wear this into the fall with these colors. Throw a black blazer over it, wear it to work. A lot of options with this one. These are the Zella High Waist Studio Light Pocket Leggings. These are new to me. I have multiple pairs of their live-in high waist leggings. Those have more of a cottony feel. To me, those feel like more like clothes and less light workout. This has a higher spandex count. Definitely feels more like a workout legging, very slick feel to it. The pockets are great. I will say it does suck everything in. I am wearing these in a size small and they feel really good. And the seam in the back seems to lift my rear end a little bit. The classic Barefoot Dream Circle Cardigan. The sizing was a weird on these. I have an extra small small, but honestly, I prefer it in a medium, which I have as well. The only real difference is that the arms aren't quite as snug and it doesn't fit as closely to the body, but the difference is negligible, especially if you wanna layer this over something that actually has sleeves, which I assume must, most of us do when it gets cold outside. I know this has an official name, but I'm gonna call it the Barefoot Dreams Belted Cardigan. This one, the sizing is very different from the Circle Cardigan. First of all, it's true sizing, small, medium, large, etc. So I have this in a small. Normally I wear it with the belt tied in the back, but what I love about this is that you can wear it more like a robe style, where you close it in the front, tie it tight. And what I like about that is that this can double, especially during travel, as a bed jacket or a really, really short robe. So it gives you options roomier in the sleeves than the circle cardigan version. So go ahead and get your true size on this one. I am wearing it in a size small. It's long enough that it covers the rear end and the front bits and a, like the circle cardigan, super, super soft material. The Halogen Longline Cardigan is another anniversary sale staple. And if you work in an office environment or well, just outside the home where you can't control temperature in your workplace setting, this is a great cardigan to have at the office. Pick one of the neutral colors and just leave it there. It's a longer length, it hits right at or just slightly above the knee. It's a thinner material, it's a, I believe a wool blend, so you're not gonna overheat in this, it doesn't add any bulk. The It runs just a nice skimming length along the body. Pockets are accessible, very accessible, and look at that perfect height for the hands to slide in. I like to wear mine cuffed. The uh, cuffs are a little bit ribbed, but a lot of versatile options. I'm a big fan of this piece. If you follow me on stories, then this is the famous Madewell Kent cardigan. You'll know what I'm talking about there. Very similar in length to the Halogen Longline cardigan. This one has a nice feature of the slits on the sides. It's a little easier to move around. It's a little more casual looking. 
The pockets are more clearly visible, a little bit warmer, I would say, than the halogen option. Lots of color options. I have this in several. It also comes in a color blocked. I think it's three or four different colors stacked in there. So I love this piece. I think this layers a little more easily over things. The arms are less fitted than all the other cardigans that I've shared with you and maybe a little more flattering with the slits on the side. These are the frame Lahai raw hem straight leg jeans. As compared to the AG slim jeans, there's a little more room in the leg on these, a true straight. Obviously the raw hem makes it a little bit different. Slightly lower in rise, believe it or not, than the AG version. I'm a huge fan of all the Lahai frame options. I have the skinny version as well. Like the AG ones, I have these in a 28 regular and they were too big on me last year. They actually fit true to size for me this year. I will say that with both of them that I neglected to mention, they are extremely soft and very stretchy. So they will not suck in any gut that you might be dealing with. These are the Spanx wide leg twill crop pants. Note that I am wearing a pair of booties with a good three to four inch heel and I'm five foot four, so cropped is a relative term. But I, these are very interesting to me. I'm wearing them in a size small and as I have indicated previously, I'm a little chunkier in the middle than I used to be. Getting these on is hard, but each time I've done it, it gets easier. So I think they loosen up a little, but once you get them over your hips, which requires some Herculean effort, they fit so nicely, they're not binding, it doesn't feel like you're wearing compression garments, but it does suck in that belly, which I love. I love the placement of the pockets in the front and the back. The front pockets are more fully accessible, you just have to unbutton those little buttons there and you can get your whole hand in, but when buttoned, they do slim you up a little bit. These do come in white as well, but right now they're at Nordstrom Rack for cheaper and white, so I'd skip them in the sale stick with the fall colors that they're showing for the sale. Those are a good buy. This outerwear piece, so glad they brought it back this year. It sold out super quickly. It's basically kind of a two in one. Um, it's not a fully lined piece, so you can't wear the hoodie lining separately, but this is a leather jacket and it's more of a moto jacket style, a little more relaxed, definitely the shorter moto length but it has a little fleece, almost like a dicky, so it looks like it's a, it's draped over a fleece hoodie type zip up jacket, but it's not. It's just a little bit of the lining. So if you want a little more of a casual look, leave the lining in. If you want a true moto jacket look, take the lining out. It is really easy to take it in and out. As you can see, it's mostly the satin-ish lining inside. But if you look close up, you will see there you go it's just a little zip that runs the whole length of the jacket really easy to take in and out gives you two looks in one very very reasonably priced for a real leather jacket this is the free people marley sweater i picked this up last fall and absolutely fell in love with it so free people sizing generally runs huge and most people recommend that you size down and generally i find that to be the case but with this sweater i'm wearing it in a size small which is my true size because it is technically a cropped sweater and i personally do not think a cropped sweater on me is a good idea I do want you to note that the front has a pretty low V. You can kind of see the top of my bralette there, which is fine, but I would recommend wearing a little tank, a cami, or something like that underneath if you want a little more modest covering. This year's offerings come in some beautiful bright colors as well as some neutrals. I am adding the gorgeous blue one to my cart. All right, I feel like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Here is the Rails Hunter button-down shirt. Now the colors I'm wearing may not necessarily be the ones in the sale, but you can see fit. So this is the Rails Hunter shirt in small. I have a 34 double, well, 34 D, 32 double D chest. You can see it's gaping a little bit, especially when I start to loop it over. It fits okay if you have a smaller chest. You'll be fine in the small if you're about my same size height and weight. This is the medium version. I feel like this is the just right one. Note the seams on the shoulders are sitting correctly. It doesn't gape when I tuck it in or when I stick my chest out. I don't know that that ever actually comes up in real life, but I'm going to test it in just a minute. I like how it drapes when it's tucked in. 
Um, I think this was a winter option. I don't know if that color is currently available, but I'm loving that spot of gold. But see, I'm sticking my chest out and it's doing pretty well. Now I do have it also in large, ta-da, here it is. Tiny bit of difference in length, very negligible. I wear all of these, of course. This is a little more oversized. If you look closely, the shoulder seams are not lining up on me. They're past my shoulder, so it's a much more casual, blousey look. I could also wear this easily open over a, like a cami or something. So if you are chesty, I would recommend sizing up one. I don't know what possessed me to buy this in a large, but I did. Um, but I wanted you to have all your choices because even on sale, this amazing shirt is still a bit pricey. This free people top is a great layering piece. It has functional buttons on the top. Now I took the advice last year from everyone else and sized down one to an extra small here, but honestly, I would just go with your true size because it runs pretty snug in the arms and I personally would prefer a little more length, especially in the front, but it's a great piece at your true size. Hello, it's editing me. We are all done with the Nordstrom anniversary sale try on number one. I have more things than what I actually showed you, I think, coming to me in the mail starting tomorrow. So if you want sneak peeks of try-ons of those, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will share them on Instagram stories and save them to the end sale reel there. And I do have a second full-on haul planned for this YouTube channel to go up when the general sale opens to the public. There's also going to be a beauty haul. I didn't even share that with you. And I'll show you the home stuff I picked up then too. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check the description box for everything listed in the order in which I described it with all the links and more information can also be found on my website, missgoldgirl.com. Have a great one. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later.